obsession continues. I found these folders at Toys R Us and that got me thinking, wouldn't it be awesome to have Barbies inspired by some of the cast from Disney Descendants? You know, like the real actresses? So let's start with Sophia Carson. I think she looks a lot like Wonder Woman. Wouldn't that be the best mashup ever? I grew up on this island and I was never allowed to leave. No way, me too! And it's crazy because, you know, my mom was like a queen. Me too! Wow, we have so much in common. Okay, what are your favorite colors? Red, blue, and gold? <gasps> me too! Let's get a little inspiration from Pinterest. So we have red lipstick, ponytail, part on the side. I really like her look from the Descendants 2 premiere party, so let's go with something like that. With Wonder Woman, we already have the brown hair, the brown eyes, and she has a partial made-to-move body. However, her hands have gloves on them, or like little wraps, and this one's a fist. So she's going to need a body transplant. This is actually a pink top made-to-move Barbie. I just don't know what happened to the pink top. Okay, now that everyone's here, you know what's next. Off with their heads. Ugh, I cannot remove Wonder Woman's head. I should have used hot water. I fear that I am breaking the neck peg. <laughs> no. Okay, I finally removed ugh, the head. And it is just a normal neck peg, so I don't know why it was so difficult. Unfortunately, yeah, I kind of destroyed it though. So that's no fun. This is going to be Barbie's new body. I'm worried that she's going to have bobblehead syndrome, but it doesn't look like she does. Oh, wow, <laughs> awesome. Now we can place Wonder Woman onto the made to move Barbie body. And voila, we still have two dolls. Wow, Barbie as Wonder Woman, <laughs> that is too funny. Here is our Sophia Carson doll, who just happens to look a little bit like Wonder Woman. But hopefully, after our little makeover, she'll look more like Sophia Carson. Let's start with her hair. I'm going to do a hot water rinse so that we can straighten the hair. I have her over a bowl and I'm gonna pour hot water over her hair slowly. Remember to always have adult supervision when working with hot objects. While the hair is still warm, I carefully brush it out, pour some more hot water, brush it, and repeat until it looks the way that I want. We have the part, and now we're just going to brush the hair straight down, making a nice little swoosh, and allow it to dry. Now what to wear? In the inspiration photo, she is wearing black leather pants and a white t-shirt and bright red lipstick, so we'll have to do a repaint for that. I have some Barbie black leather pants. I just can't find them at the moment. So I am going to make some. I am going to use these Barbie pants as a pattern. I carefully take the pants apart. A seam ripper would be nice right about now. Finally, I'm finished. Place the fabric pattern onto a piece of faux leather. Use chalk to trace around it. Cut it out. Repeat for the other leg. This little notch right here, this is going to go in the back for the Velcro. And this is for the front inseam. Line the fabric up and lay it good side to good side. Sew along the front inseam, stopping at the tab. That worked. Fold over and hem the bottom. Take the bottom of the pants and separate them. Grab the corners from each side and match them up. You can start to see the pants forming. Sew down the sides. Try them out on the doll. Make adjustments where needed. After sewing on the new line, trim off the excess. Fold over and hem the top. 
cut a small piece of Velcro, sew the hooks onto the good side of the tab, then take the other flap and fold it back, sew the loop side of the Velcro on top so they can overlap to close. Turn the pants inside out to make faux leather pants. Place them on the doll to see how it looks. Now we need a new shirt. Once again, I am going to sacrifice one of my doll shirts to make the pattern. Take the shirt apart at the seams, place it face down onto the fabric. I use a pencil to lightly trace around the edge, remove the pattern, cut it out. The sleeves will be located right here, and you can see a small tab right here on the sides. With the good side facing down, fold over and hem the tab. I'm going to sew this by hand. Take the neckline and pull it straight. Fold over and hem. Fold it in half, matching up the sides. Sew from the bottom of the sleeve down to the end. Open it, then fold up and hem the bottom. Cut a piece of Velcro. Sew the hooks of the Velcro onto the outside of the shirt. Fold over the opposite side. Sew on the other half of the Velcro so they overlap to close. Place the shirt on a piece of paperboard. Use a pencil to sketch the word good. Paint over it with acrylic paint. Make a red heart to finish the shirt. To add a little more detail to the pants and to cover up my wobbly stitches, I cut a thin piece of faux leather, glue small strips around it to look like belt loops. Sew or glue it to the top of the pants, add a button, giving the pants a neater look. To style her hair, I take a small piece from both sides of the part, pull them back behind the neck, and secure them with a rubber band, making sure to push the hair behind the ear. Mix white school glue and red acrylic paint. I like to make it a little more glue than paint. Then using a paintbrush, carefully apply the mixture to her lips to make a lipstick that can be removed. And now we have our very own Made to Move, Sophia Carson. And you're done. Happy crafting. to give a shout out to OMG get me a name please what's up this is Sophie's vlog and we are live on the red carpet with the cast of Descendants 2 <laughs> yeah right behind me is Sophia Carson let's see if we can get an interview Hey, Sophia! We are live on my vlog. Say hi to everyone. Hi. I am a big fan. Absolutely loved the movie. Thank you. Thank you. And I just gotta know, what was it like growing up on the Isle of the Lost? Um, I didn't actually grow up on the Isle. I play Evie. I'm not actually Evie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what was it like growing up on the Isle of the Lost? Um, wait, was that Boo Boo Stewart? What's up? <laughs> 